As you guys know, we can't protect what we don't see. So let's talk about log management. Secure Ninja. Hey everybody, it's uh, 3 Jane here with Secure Ninja TV and we are at RSA 2019. Uh, right about now we're talking with Elastic uh, Log Management Come Security. Uh, we're here with uh, Mike Poquette and uh, he's going to catch me up to speed on uh, the latest and greatest with their product. And um, yeah, just a little intro. I've used uh, Elastic's product uh, for uh, situations of um, uh, incident response, first responder, be able to stand up uh, so a, a box and start feeding it with some feeds and start getting a better look at what's going on in our environment uh, and then start start to assess the damage from there, right? right? Um, since, and you guys have been doing this well before Gardner said it was a hot thing, well before all the other guys jumped onto it. So you guys are definitely the pros in my book. Uh, so. I now see that you guys have expanded the product line, lots of add-ons, maybe some partnerships. Uh, if you could maybe catch me up to speed with where where Elastic's been and where we're going, that would be really great. So again, guys, here we go with uh, Mike Paquette, and uh, I'll take it from you. Very good. Well, you know, you, you started off with uh, the right uh, idea because the fact that the Elastic Stack is open source that's what allows people to try and play with it and really find a, solve a problem that they have with the Elastic Stack. Uh, that re has remained one of the core tenets of the company is the open source, we love our community of users, we make more and more software available. We have hundreds of engineers and many of them are actually developing software that we give away for free every day to that community. We also have enhanced the Elastic Stack with some commercial features, uh, features that do require a license to use. Many of those are still free, uh, some of those are paid. We do run a company and we, uh, customers that subscribe to Elastic get access to those commercial features as well as our support subscription. So the Elastic Stack though is nicely integrated. The open source components are the same whether you use open source or whether you use the commercial version. And that software has become mature. It's expanded in the number of use cases uh, that, that we have in security analytics, which is, if you will, a specialty of the logging that you were talking about, right? That has to do with the collection and indexing and searching and analysis of security related data, that's become a very popular use case for us. In fact, it's growing uh, significantly, which is one of the reasons why we're here. We have so many users that are using the Elastic Stack for uh, pulling together lo logs from their host computers, from their networks, from threat intelligence, and bringing that all together to get visualizations and get alerts and even to run some of our more advanced analysis tools like machine learning on that data. The, the flexibility of Elastic was always, I mean, between the open source and the flexibility that I could get, I could stuff feeds in there that I couldn't stuff into commercial products, right? And I said, well, geez, that's, that's a good place to be. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the add-ons? Because I had seen somewhere up here, here we go, can we get a shot of this? This uh, hot list here has definitely grown since uh, I first started uh, using this. I think I was most familiar with uh, timeline and visualize. So now we've got infrastructure, machine learning, dev tools, looking good as far as I'm concerned. So absolutely, so as the uh, Elastic Stack grows and we have use cases that are being used more and more, uh, our developers will often develop a, a, an app, if you will, that'll show up in the left-hand navigation side of Kibana. So there really are some new ones here. This one keeps scrolling away on us. Uh, let me just stop that. Uh, and so, for example, uh, many of these are open source components. Uh, many of these are available in the Elastic Basic license level, which is free, but it's not open source. Uh, and then some of these are commercial features. Let me give you a couple exciting ones. Uh, a new one that we have called Canvas. Uh, Canvas is a new visualization method within Elasticsearch, within the Elastic Stack, to make infographic-like uh, uh, displays from your actual underlying Elasticsearch data. For all those sea levels, huh? For, you know it. You know the proverbial sea level dashboard. Well, this this makes those, and it you can actually build presentations in it. It's very rich and very capable of pulling data from Elasticsearch and being always live. The problem with a PowerPoint, of course, is that it gets stale the minute that you print it, right, or a PDF, uh, and this allows you to keep it live data. This, this is a great add-on feature, even though I've not used it. I can tell you, <clears throat> bringing 
bringing that raw data i mean i'm a geek i want to see lines you know that that's fine for me but to give that to a c level not so easy to hand off right a lot of the time i've got i've got the solution or at least the identification of where i need to address already in my mind but now it actually takes me longer to create the presentation for the C-levels than it did to actually do the assessment. Exactly, and so this is, this is the solution to that. Uh, you just basically can point them to uh, uh, what it looks like a slide that's always up to date. And you can sit a refresh, you know, it's five minutes out of date at the worst. So it's really, really nice. We can now, we can now put, put some good use to those big uh, monitors all around the socks, right? They can, they can act, they're actually doing something. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's Canvas. Uh, another uh, very interesting feature is APM. Uh, this is application performance monitoring, which is a new set of features you probably weren't familiar with sure. before. Uh, this is an area of uh, rapid growth and expansion for the Elastic Stack today. Understanding the performance characteristics, diagnosing issues and capabilities in your applications. Uh, doing distributed tracing of the different execution paths and making sure that things that are operating uh, slow, there's a reason for it, find it, fix it. It's always been a huge component of my assessments to just kind of do this. Now the commercial vendors have uh, taken it and, and, and run with it. But yeah, I mean, we can just look at our application performance and kind of say, huh, that's not really right, right? And so we can dig a little bit deeper. So we've got that in here as well, right? Great. Uh, there's uh, new user interfaces for uh, looking at logs. If you just uh, want to do kind of old school and look at all your logs, we've got a really nice way to do simulated live tailing of logs right in the Elastic Stack itself. Uh, infrastructure logs, uh, helping us understand things, especially around virtualized and containerized infrastructure, being able to visualize uh, the overall status of really large numbers of entities and then identifying problem areas very quickly. Uh, and one of our commercial features, machine learning, uh, this is a hot topic. Uh, very hot topic, and it's a dedicated engine built within Elasticsearch that is uh, using unsupervised machine learning to be able to model the behaviors of certain uh, fields or features in your data. Uh, and so you simply, as an analyst, point it towards a, a feature or a field in your data, uh, ask it to go build you a model and let you know if it ever acts weird or unusual. So really, really operationalized. Uh, we might have to circle back because we'll be doing some segments on, on uh, machine learning. It's uh, where my studies have taken me uh, currently. And, uh, the, but I will just ask you one quick question. Uh, one of the largest issues that I've had with a researcher dealing with machine learning is the computing power that it takes to actually see my model through. Um, so. Uh, how are, I'm very, I'm curious if you can maybe give me just a little bit of insight. How are you doing the machine learning? Is it uh, on site or in the cloud? Because the computing power I was, I, I've kind of used in the cloud service, even when I had a hot to go notebook, super sick gaming tower, it's still too slow. Um, so machine learning is an extremely broad uh, area of science, right? So there are many different disciplines. Some of the methods uh, like uh, neural networks or con convolutional neural networks, those are known for very high amount of CPU usage. And in fact, you find some of these actually running on dedicated GPUs uh, to get additional horsepower. This engine is not that. It is not a neural networks based engine, but it's a uh, uh, engine for creating distributions of uh, probabilities for time series data. So it is does not have those same kinds of CPU requirements. And this runs very nicely on an Elasticsearch node. So it is part of Elasticsearch. In a full scale production, you may have one or two Elasticsearch nodes that are dedicated to this, but these nodes are standard computing nodes. A uh, modest number of cores, maybe eight cores, and maybe a little bit more memory, 64 gigabytes of memory or something like that. I found keeping the, the modeling light and simple uh, actually want, yields me better results than the complex stuff. If I've got a very specific uh, task to address, then maybe some of the more advanced methods are more appropriate. But uh, I would say maybe six to seven out of 10 times, uh, a more low-level assessment, low-level modeling gets me to where I need to go. So as, as you talked about as logging as kind of a solution, this uh, set of machine learning uh, right now is highly optimized for time series data, anything with a time stamp, like a log message or a metric. And it is extremely efficient at modeling time series. 
So every time series, it can keep in a really small amount of uh, memory. So that's what makes it a nice scalable part of our logging and security analytics solutions. So it sounds like maybe that uh, machine learning app kind of rocks socks with uh, identity management. Uh, it could. Okay. <laughs> it could. There's lots of... Uh, Machine learning jobs, one of the main things it does, it's anomaly detection. So it builds these models and lets you know when things are acting unusually. And uh, login information is wonderful for that, right? Unusual login locations, unusual login times, unusual login patterns. All those are things that can be nicely detected by this engine and they're super helpful jumps right in security. Out. Jumps yeah. right out. Well, great, I think that's about it for me now. I want to thank you again for your time, really appreciate it. And, and really, your, your whole team for the product. I'm a huge open source fan. Open source gets it done most of the time for me. Um, paves the way for all the commercial vendors to say, oh wait, we need to do that too. And, and I think really you had touched on it, is that the community, uh, the, the community is gonna give us the solution that we need, not the solution that we, want, that we need to buy, right? Exactly, and the community has just been so wonderful to us at Elastic. Yes, uh, it's a, it's a two-way street, right? We develop a lot of nice software, but they contribute back with additional software contributions and plugins and, and modules that are uh, using the, you know, the software. So uh, there's open source security-related distributions that are built around the Elastic stack. So, uh, so anyways, uh, we love our community and uh, that's the reason we're here. Cool. Well, uh, that's about it for now, uh, everybody. I give these guys a thumbs up. Let's uh, check them out at uh, ElasticSearch.com. Uh, Elastic.co. Elastic.co. And you can also check them out on GitHub also. Okay, guys, over and out. Lady 3 Jane, take it easy. All right, it's a wrap. Thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe below if you're not already. Uh, again, I'm Lady 3 Jane, and I'm out of here.